all YouTubers, it is I, Hellgear, and I got something from Amazon. Listen to me. I'm saying the name of the company like Jen and Carrie did. The, then the cable guy. Cable guy! Alright then. I do remember ordering something off of Amazon, but it was supposed to get here on Friday. But here it is Thursday evening, so let's open this up and see what we got. So, uh, first and foremost, kudos to Amazon for getting this here one whole day early. That is very, very nice of you. Alrighty then. Huh. Looks pretty flat. Oh, wait a minute. This might be what I think it is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? <laughs> it's actually here one day early wow <laughs> I can't believe this <laughs> check it out volume 2 betrayal of smurf blossom this is great I actually got this one day early oh man let me let me sit this Let's get this in can and let's get that in the focus. We're gonna set that right there. Let me go get the first one. Yeah. It actually came one day early. So here's the first one. Not hardback like uh this one, but huh. So yeah, to those of you who don't know, the village behind the wall is essentially the, the um, graphic novel arc with our Smurfy friends from The Lost Village. And this is the first one. It gives us five stories. And this is the second one, which is a, it's only one story. Interesting. Um... Peyo's son, Terry Culliford, actually had a hand in doing this. So, let's flip it over, see what's going on here. Battle of the Sexes Smurf Style. An all-new adventure with the characters from Smurfs the Lost Village. Mm. It all starts with the great Smurf tree games in Smurfy Grove. When the defeated champion Smurfstorm takes her toughest challenger ever, Hefty, there hasn't been a competition this fierce since Bobby Riggs versus Billy Jean King. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> wow. Interesting. So it's, ooh, that's actually a re, they do a rematch? Okay. To those of you who don't know, if you haven't read the stories in the first one, and I got to go back to this first one before I read some more. One of the stories in this first one is a competition between Hefty and Stormy, and Stormy wins. But, apparently, we got a rematch going on now. And this time, Stormy loses. Haven't seen one that many. But then things get even worse when the water supply dries up in the village behind the wall. Which, of course, is Smurfy Grove. To so everybody who has seen the Lost Village movie, you already know that Smurfy Grove is like a fortress. The village is fortified behind a wall. Wow. And the Smurfs have to solve the mystery of where all the water's gone. To complicate matters even more, Smurf Blossom betrays her BFF because of a confusing love triangle. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. Okay, let's let's talk about the love triangle thing for a moment. And I gotta bring back the first one. In the first one, we find out we find out that Smurf Clover has a crush on Clumsy. And, as everybody is putting in here, Clumsy's kind of grown on Stormy. So, that's an interesting love triangle. It's going to be funny to read 
what this love triangle is about. Uh, from what I can tell based on some of the French, um, the French previews, this has to do with the Howlers from the first, um, from the first one, because they deal with the Howlers in number one. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to see the Howlers come back. Wow, they actually put some more detail to Stormy, Stormy's dress. Interesting. Plus, Brainy actually gets something right. This is great. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have fun reading this. And it's good to get hardback cover, too. Unlike the other one, my, my first one is paperback. But that's okay. Uh, I'm glad I got this. This one was a little bit more, even though it's uh, one story. Where the first one was five. So again, to those of you who don't know, Peo's son, Terry Culliford, has his hand in this. I think he does, he does the coloring in this one. And probably Patrick Matei is doing the art because Patrick Matei did the art for The Lost Village. So it makes sense that if he's doing anything on this, and it's going to be really interesting to see. Man, it's good to get this in hardback. Unlike paperback for my first one. So, look at that design. Uh, let me turn to the back. Because in, in the first one, they had like a special little um, covering. Oh, look at that. The book actually promotes the Smurfs Village game. <laughs> oh, and speaking of the Smurfs Village game, it's actually getting a... Mm, it's getting an island update. Okay. Here we go. I'll read this because it's a small print. Welcome to the village behind the walls, Betrayal of Smurf Blossom. The graphic novel from Paper Cuts with an all new story featuring new Smurfs introduced in the Lost Village. The most recent Smurfs movie from Sony Animation. Yes, no, no word on the new cartoon coming out. Because there is a Smurfs cartoon coming out soon, everybody. Just, it's on its way. Boop, 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 boop. Paper Cuts, the official publisher of the Smurfs in North America, is dedicated to publishing great graphic novels for all ages. Whether you're as young as Baby Smurf or as old as Grandpa, Paper Cuts has graphic novels for you. I'm Jim Salakrup. The editor in chief and part time gag writer for Jokey Smurf, and I'm here to offer you up a little of background on the Smurfs. But first, I have Smurf Tastic news. Okay, the Smurfs will soon be starring in an all new animated TV series. Be sure to check Smurfs.com for full details, as this is truly exciting. Good, they did mention it. Good for you guys. They mentioned it sometime ago that they were doing it and when they did an update that it said it was going to be the first season was going to run from 2019 to 2020. Uh, yeah, the original cartoons were a huge hit for many years and can still be seen online at smurfs.com slash English slash watch. Interesting. Okay, so just to give you guys a little bit of background, uh, Peo's daughter Veronique got into a lovely joint venture with the old school magazine that Pero Culliford, aka Peo, teamed up with. That was Spiro, and they kind of did the joint venture again. A very exciting deal. Now, to those of you who don't know, they're calling the new, unless the title has changed, they're calling the new animated series, The Smurfs, A Touch of Blue. It's going to be in CGI, just like The Lost Village was, and they're saying episodes are slated to be 13 minutes long. So, that means we're going to either A, get one 13-minute episode between... 16 and a half minutes of commercials or we're gonna get two six minute six and a half minute stories alrighty 
And of course, they're promoting The Trolls, which is also getting a second movie. And I think their most recent season started on Netflix. There's something else I want... Oh, I need to clear up moving on to the uh, page here. On page 16, or 8 of the comics, a certain Smurf whose name who shall be named Nameless, suggests that the trolls smurfed all the water. Obviously, that wasn't true, and we now know exactly what really happened. But I think we should apologize to the trolls for even suggesting they do such a despicable thing. If you haven't yet enjoyed the graphic novel adventures of the trolls, may I suggest picking it up? Picking up the Trolls 3 and 1, number 1, from Paper Cuts. It features the first three Trolls graphic novels in the super popular 3-in-1 format. So yeah, why not? Apologize to DreamWorks, which is fair, you know, you can't, you can't give a bad name to another animations company for a popular cartoon. Gotta give them their credit where credit is due. Move in a little bit more. Look at that purple Smurf, which were originally the black Smurfs in uh, the Belgian French. Parenthetically, speaking of which, have you picked up the Smurfs 3 in 1 yet? You can't miss it. It has the purple Smurf right on the cover, aka black Smurf. And of course, it features the first three Smurfs graphic novels from Paper Cuts in one supersized novel. That's beautiful. The Betrayal of Smurf Blossom was written by Luke Parthians, or Parthens, excuse me. We recently caught up with him and discussed his contribution to the Smurf Reporter. You can find that mini interview in Smurfs number 24. And that's not fake news. Okay, cool. So he worked on the Reporter Smurf book as well. If you enjoyed the Betrayal of Smurf Blossom and want to see more of those female Smurfs, you can watch the movie Smurfs The Lost Village and pick up the Smurfs Village Behind the Wall graphic novel from Patrick Cuts. It features five new stories, and if that's still not enough, who knows? Maybe there will be a third Village Behind the Wall graphic novel someday. Uh, don't, don't tease it like that. You know you're making a third one. Let us know what you think. Reach us at the address below. And until then, stay Smurfy. So essentially they have... Okay, it's the paper cuts um, information. So essentially their email, their web, their Twitter, their Facebook, and the old-fashioned way. So essentially they talked about volume one, which is this one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so here's my thing. Let me know if you guys want me to read off these wonderful stories. These beautiful stories of the Lost Village girls and whatnot. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to just read these off to you guys for the channel. I mean, if, if there's some real, like, interest in that, sure, I'll do it. All right. Now let's talk about the ladies, of course, and let's talk about our wonderful gals here. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn to the back in this one, and I'm going to pull up this picture from in the back of the first graphic novel. Alrighty. Now, I've done it before on this channel where I've talked about, and I showcased the art from the, the book that has the art book from the movie the Lost Village. And depending on your sources, whether you hear it from the art book, which is forwarded by Peyo's daughter, Veronique Culliford, or the junior graphic novels, the number of the Smurfs in the Grove, Grove is different, but it's approximately a hundred. Now, of these girls, 13 of them actually have names. Names. Of those 13, 12 are mentioned in the movie, The Lost Village. But of the 12 that are mentioned by name in The Lost Village, six of them have confirmed faces. The other six girls mentioned in the movie 
have confirmed faces in the mobile game that's based off of the Lost Village movie, Smurfs Bubble Story. And then, girl number 13 is mentioned in volume 1 of this. So, I'm thinking a couple of things. One, we're going to get on this. If she turns on, on Stormy because of a strange love triangle, maybe Clumsy is involved. <laughs> and that'd be funny if, it, if, if Clumsy is involved in this, because that's going to be great. Two, if another one of our friendly blue babes, as I like to call them, our, our female Smurfs, gets a confirmed shot or the one that was confirmed or was mentioned in volume one if there's a confirmed reference shot of her in this one i'll be sure to inform the community as i have done with everyone else because you know the other six are in bubble story and i found four of those four of those six that um are confirmed in bubble story so when I get the other two, which are Smurf Holly and Smurf Hazel, once I get confirmed reference shots, I will let the community know. I've, I've shown off shots of the other uh, Grove Girls on my Instagram page. So uh, check out the pictures. Feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. And uh, Paper Cuts, if you guys are watching, stop playing. You know you're making Volume 3. You know you're making Volume 3. Because, as I mentioned, only 13 of the girls in the Groves have official names. Unless another one is officially named in this one. So, there's still around 80 some odd girls in the Grove that have yet to be identified. So, I'm looking forward to Volume 3. I'll tell you that right now. I'm looking forward to Volume 3. I haven't even read Volume 2. I just got it today. So, I'm looking forward to reading this. I'm looking forward to Volume 3. So, Paper Cups, uh, talk with Terry and Veronique and possibly Patrick Matei and Luke. And uh, hopefully they do Volume 3, maybe around winter time. I, if if the hopes are good, winter time. Also, uh, I'd like to get some more some good Smurfy merchandise with some of the Grove Girls on here. That'd be great. But that's all I'm going to say. I'm kind of dragging this on a little bit longer than I should. Thank you, Amazon, for getting this to me one day early. Thank you, Paper Cuts, for mentioning not only Volume One. <laughs> But also the animated series and the fact that you're interested in Volume 3, which you already know you're making. You're making Volume 3. <laughs> you're making Volume 3. And even Volume 4. Yeah, I'm foreshadowing farther ahead because we all love these blue, elvish, ever blue friends of ours. Ever, view, ever blue as quoted by Veronique. But for now... I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. I got some reading to do. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.